What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Empire Music. On a lovely, dreary Pittsburgh day. It is, oh, this week, the trade-in event is steamrolling to an end. Is it, can you do that? Can you steamroll to an end? I don't know. But remember, through the end of the month, we're always going to want your trade-ins. We're always going to work with you. But through the end of the month, we're being continuing our aggressive trade-in event, which is 15% off almost all new guitars, $7.99 and above with a trade-in. Give us a shout at the shop, 412-343-5299. You can email me, joe at empiremusic.com. Call the guys here. The trade-in process is easy. Most of our trades happen through the internet. Um, so it's like we're meeting you, we're getting pictures, some basic information, we send you a label. It is easy peasy. So we get two things happen. You get a great new guitar at a great price with a discount. We get cool new guitars to show off to all of you that didn't trade anything in and everybody seems happy. That's nice, isn't it? So that's cool. So we got that cooking. Um, remember we got 36 month financing happening on Fender, Taylor, Martin, and Gibson. Uh, we've got some cool deals cooking with Fender and Taylor too. So there's some extra, um, sprinkles there to be had. Check out the Taylor Nam guitars. Give us a call for best price. Just go to that Taylor Nam section on our website and just give us a call. We'll hook you up with a great deal on those guitars. So without further ado, let's do it. Gibson Custom Shop R9, the most famous, I don't know if it's probably the most expensive if you had an original R9 electric guitar pretty much on earth. They about half a million dollars and um, this is a beautiful version of this guitar. We sold this new in, in, in shop here. It's like a faded, uh, like a dirty lemon. Um, the top on it is bananas. The custom shops nailed it because the feel and the, the tone. So you get some really um, extra special features here. Obviously you get the mahogany body, the, I don't know, like I, was, I always laugh when people say it's like a 5A flame top, like there's not a 5A tree, I don't know what that means. It's a super flamey top, you can grade it any way you want. If it makes you feel better, it's, this one's a 40A top, so that makes you feel good, but it's super flamey. Um, lacquer finish, VOS, thin, thin, thin finish with the natural patina. Um, obviously 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, rosewood fingerboard, mahogany neck, vintage tuners, Pickups are uh, custom Bucker 3s, Alnico pickups. They're unpotted. Now this is where, like, this is what's really cool because these guitars initially were unpotted um, and now they are potted if you buy a modern Les Paul. And what does that mean? So, you know, when a pickup is potted, it means it's dipped in wax. It can take a lot more gain without feeding back. Um, however, the kind of negative flip side of that is you lose a lot of the natural harmonics that makes the guitars so sought after in their original state. So this will be a very true experience to a vintage pickup because it's designed and built the same way. So you're going to get a lot of harmonics here. And they probably won't, it won't distort like a, a modern Les Paul per se, but it's still tons of gain out of these. Um, that's why they're super sought after. Uh, oil and paper, capa you know, drop capacitors, all the stuff you want. Um, true to the original, and this is a beautiful, beautiful version. So this is super cool. Um, I, also, I, mean, I usually do a longer intro. I don't know. My, today's been rushed. It's just how it goes sometimes. But I have some cool stuff. Uh, this Eastman, we always get cool Eastmans on trade. We also get a lot of Sirs, which I have down the line, and acoustic you definitely probably haven't heard of. Uh, I think this is a T486 maple topped semi-hollow. Hear that? This is the semi part. This is the hollow part. Uh, arch top, arch back. You know, Eastman is made in Asia. They're, they were violin kind of makers first and then have transitioned to the guitar business. PAF style pickup, so a very vintage 335 style guitar. Um, ebony fingerboard with the sweet inlays. They do a, just a beautiful uh, job on, on the guitars. The fit and finish is super nice. These always go out the door really fast. The original hard case with it. You know we dial the guitars in and set them all up, so it'll be primo. Next, a guitar I had never heard of. You guys might have heard of it, but I've done my research now. Iris, they're out of Vermont. An all solid wood USA guitar. Um, I think they're mostly factory direct. I don't, I don't think they're in stores, but I could be wrong. If they are, there's a handful. This has a bare claw Sitka spruce top with Adirondack scallop bracing, mahogany back and sides. So here's how I feel. I think this guitar is about 1700 1800 bucks used. 
I think it was about 2650 new. Um, very cool, it's unique. I wouldn't spend 2700 bucks on this because you're not gonna get your money back as you can tell by the drop off. This is why when we, someone comes in and buys a Martin from us, like a D18 at 2800 bucks, right? And you get a little bit of a deal. The investment is super secure because you're getting a Martin. People want it. It holds its value much, much better. However, this is a very cool guitar at sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. I think this is like seventeen, eighteen because the bear claw. And this has the upgraded Adirondack. Um, it has a hard case with it. It feels really nice. Um, so at this price, it's very safe and a good investment. But when you're out there and you're seeing those, get a lot, there's just a lot of brands popping up. It, you know, that two thousand five hundred dollar to four thousand dollar range. Just if you're ever worried about things that you might want to move on from, Martins, Gibsons, Fenders, Taylors, that those those will keep you there. Martins, Gibsons specifically, Fender on the electric side. Um, so, but a cool guitar feels really nice. It's kind of got like a, an Americana vibe to it. So it sounds super nice. Just something different. Next, LSL out of California. They do their own pickups. as an alder body, roasted maple neck that's really beautiful. They call it a medium C. It's a touch sleeker to me than that. Um, but again, medium is in the eye of the um, beholder, of course. They do a relicking package on it, lacquer finish. Um, this guitar would, if you're looking you know, to compare it to something, while Fender doesn't really relic their American vintage guitars, this is a very good comparison side by side. Super slick finish. These play really, really nice. The fit and finish on them is amazing. Um, Vintage style pickup, so a PAF style humbucker. Just a really great rock guitar, super sexy. It's got the Sherlock sticker on the back of it, which I'm not sure what that's all about. Go to the site, you'll see it there. This isn't my best work today. I hope you guys are all hanging in there. I'm going away tomorrow. I've got to travel early. Stressful, stressful times. <laughs> Let's check out the Serb, Pete Thorne. With locking tuners, Pete Thorne pickups. Uh, 3 16 inch plain maple top on a mahogany body. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Wilkinson tremolo. Pete Thorne is like a big studio touring musician. If he's really one of those, one of the, I don't want to say first people, but one of the preeminent people that took their studio touring um, skills and really became an online presence. So big, big influencing player and, and modern guitar players. Uh, definitely influences the rock market a lot. Uh, this guitar is super cool. We've had Pete Thorne's models in before. We've never had this one with the black top on it. All hand built. It's a really beautiful guitar. You can find, I'm sure, tons of info on this, but um, on our site we have great photos and everything you get with it is, is shown there. And lastly, the H1000 ESP LTD Deluxe. The neck through ebony fingerboard and I told Brent there's no way I remember these pickup names but then because I said that I remember them Seymour Duncan sentient and Pegasus pickups uh, true Floyd Rose and original Floyd Rose comp I say compound radius yeah obviously locking a nut for your tremolo this is a metal guitar. It's cool. It's interesting because when I saw this, I was like, this is going to feel really weird. And listen, we get a lot of questions about how, oh, how does a guitar weight? Is it neck dive? Is it this? Is it weight? You know, ultimately, it comes down to how a guitar feels in your hands. And it's interesting because I thought this guitar may be weighted oddly, but it feels really nice and balanced, which is cool because it's, um, and then when you hold it in your hands, it's really not that much different than kind of like a Strat or something like that. But it's just a little bit more offset. So pretty gangster. We want your trade-ins. We want to get you the next guitar you want. Remember, give us a shout. Check out the site. Find something new, $7.99 and above. Almost everything applies. There are some exclusions. Get us a trade-in. We'll give you 15% off that new guitar. Hook you up with a great deal on your trade. Get you a label if you need it to get it shipped out here. We'll make it easy. I just did one of these yesterday from my living room when I went home. In 15 minutes, we had a nice new tailor set aside. Trade-in on its way, and everybody's happy. We've got sweet deals on the site. Check out that Taylor Nam section. Give us a call. We'll get you a, a great price on everything. Reach out to us about anything you see here. This is Old This Week.